In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fail to import in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now there's multiple reasons why this error could be happening and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the most common causes and solutions. So what I recommend that you guys do is use a file managing app. So if you're on an Android device, what you can do is you can open up the Google Play Store just like so, then go to the search bar and look for the application called File Manager. If you're on an iOS device, you could already use the built-in file managing software that iOS does provide. But if you're on an Android device, I highly suggest going to the Google Play Store and looking up File Manager, then scrolling down to where it says File Manager Plus. So you want to make sure that you download this application in particular, because in my opinion, it is one of the more easier like apps to work with. And I use it for basically everything Minecraft Bedrock related. And so I highly suggest that you download it and it is completely free. All right, once you went ahead and installed it, please go ahead and select on open because we will need to do some file manipulation in order to fix this issue. All right, once you're over here, you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but please go ahead and locate the downloads folder. Once you're over here, I want you to scroll down and find the pack that is giving you the issue. So you will need to find the name of the actual file over here, and it's going to let you know all of the different downloads on your device. You could also use this search bar right over here in order to go ahead and find it. All right, so for this video, I actually did put my pack in this folder right over here just to put things in it like one place and not make it all messy and stuff like that. So here is the pack that is giving me the issue. So first things first, you need to figure out whether you're trying to download a add-on, a world, or a texture pack. So in this instance, we're trying to download a texture pack. And if you're trying to download a texture pack, you need to make sure that the file ends in .mcpack not .mc add-on or anything like that. Make sure it doesn't end in a .zip. So if you need to change the last part of the file, all you want to do is you want to long press on it, then press on rename, then just make sure it ends in .mc pack if you're trying to download a texture pack. However, if you're trying to download a add-on, then make sure that the end of the file is .mc add-on. And if you're trying to download a world, it needs to be .mc world just like so. So yeah, it actually does matter significantly because if you put the wrong thing, then it is not going to work and you're going to experience an issue, an error. But that is not all. Another reason why you could be getting this issue is due to an outdated texture pack. So what could be happening is that the texture pack you downloaded is just way too old. I would say anything before Minecraft 1.18 is considered old and most likely will not work on the newer versions of Minecraft. So if you're downloading like a texture pack that was made like years and years and years ago, like over five years ago, then chances are it is not going to work anymore and that is because minecraft just changed so much with like render dragon new textures and stuff like that so it is a little bit unfortunate but you just want to make sure you are downloading the most recent and up-to-date packs all right so the next thing i want you to do is i want you to check if it is a corrupted file because sometimes the texture pack could be corrupted and therefore won't work in order to tell one easy way to do so is by looking at the amount of storage it takes up so you'll notice that in our instance, this pack takes around 13.4 megabytes worth of storage. If your pack is corrupted, it is going to say zero megabytes or something like that. And if you have something like that, that is not a good thing. So that means that your pack is empty and it is corrupted and no longer works. So if you are in a situation where you do have a corrupted pack, what you would need to do is you would need to reinstall it from wherever you downloaded it from, or you just may need to go ahead and try to download a whole entire different pack entirely. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about addressing manifest issues. So if you see an error like provided format version is invalid in pack manifest or version 0.0.0, the issue is likely to do with the pack's JSON manifest file. And if you have no idea what I just said, do not worry. I'm going to walk you through the entire process. We basically need to do some file manipulation in inside of the pack itself. So to do that, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and make sure to add a zip at the end of it like so. So notice how I'm adding a dot zip at the end of my pack. Once you're done with that, it is going to look something like this. What you want to do from here is you want to long press on the pack and it is going to say open with and make sure to select on archive viewer. Then you can go ahead and press on just once or always. It is, it is really up to you. All right. Then it is now going to load into the actual files that make up this texture pack. So look, as you're able to tell, we got like models, sub packs, textures, etc. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you locate manifest.json right over here. And you want to go ahead and open it up and it is going to open up a text editor. And basically you need to make sure that where it says format version, which is towards the top right over here, format version, that it ends in the number two. If it's not the number two, then that could be causing errors and you can go ahead and adjust it. It's automatically going to give you like a text editor that you can easily change it. 
and you need to press on the save button obviously in order to keep the changes and also where it says versions make sure that it is not zero 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 make sure that it is one zero zero over here because that is also something that does matter as well. And once you made the necessary changes, then you can go ahead and exit out and remove the dot zip just like so in order to actually get the pack back to normal. Then go ahead and try it out and see if it does work. All right, so let's see if everything we did actually did work. So now it's gonna say import started and if we did everything correctly, it will say successfully imported. If you guys have any other ideas or any other solutions that I did not include in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below to help other people. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.